Hey everybody, this is Brajesh here and you are watching CAB Info Bentry. My dear friends, happy to share with you that there is a very good and positive news from CBDT this time. Keeping in view the severe pandemic and second wave of COVID and its devastating impact across the country, CBDT has your motto extended various due dates in respect of filing of various returns under income tax. Ji haan dosto, khush khabri ki baat hai is bar, CBDT ne severe pandemic and second wave of COVID ki devastating impact ko, uski sharp intensity ko, dhyan mein rakhte huye income tax ki various due dates ko, apne aap aage bada diya hai, white circular number, 9 of 2021 dated 20th May 2021. The link for this circular is available in comment box. Abhi tak, sare stakeholders including professionals and taxpayers ka ye experience raha hai ki sabhi stakeholders dwara various problems face karne ke baad bar bar demand kiye jane ke baad bhi CBDT द्वारा various due dates या तो नहीं बढ़ाई जाती थी या फिर उनको बिल्कुल आखरी date को बढ़ाया जाता था या फिर due date pass हो जाने के बाद बढ़ाया जाता था जो कि सभी stakeholders की anxiety को बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ा देता था और वो fruitful भी नहीं होती थी various stakeholders, finance ministry, CBDT या दूसरे ऑफिशियल्स को बार-बार डेट -बार बढ़ाने की अप्रोच करते थे, लेकिन जब उसका कोई भी इम्पैक्ट नहीं होता था, तो उनको वेरियस कोर्ट्स का सहारा लेना पड़ता था, वेरियस यू डेट्स की एक्सटेंशन के लिए, और बहुत बार ये देखा गया कि कोर्ट के ऑर्डर के बाद ही लास्ट डेट को बढ़ाया जाता था CBDT और स्टेकहोल्डर्स की परेशानियों और मुश्किलों को ध्यान में रखते हुए वेरियस ड्यू डेट्स को सीओ मोटो यानी कि अपने आप एक्सटेंड कर दिया है व्हिच शोस दैट बेटर सेंस हैज प्रीवेल्ड नाउ विद सीबीडीटी फ्रेंड्स प्लीज शेयर योर व्यूज ऑन दिस प्रोएक्टिव एक्शन ऑफ सीबीडीटी ऑन डेट एक्सटेंशन इन कमेंट बॉक्स वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट हाउ आर यू फीलिंग नाउ after extension of various due dates. अब मैं आपसे discuss करूँगा, वो कौन सी due dates हैं, जिनको बढ़ा दिया गया है, यानी कि extend कर दिया गया है. Number one is, the due date of furnishing of return of income for the assessment year 2021-22, which is presently 31st July 2021, under section 139.1 of the Income Tax Act, and is now extended to 30th September 2021. Yes, it is extended up to 30th September 2021. यहाँ पर एक important बात ध्यान में रखिए कि अगर आपका net tax payable एक लाख रुपए से ज्यादा है, after deducting advance tax, NTDS etc. तो आप अपना net tax payable 31st July 2021 तक जरूर डिपॉजिट करा दें नहीं तो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट आपसे सेक्शन 234A का इंटरेस्ट चार्ज कर लेगा क्योंकि यहां पर CBDT ने एक्सटेंशन आपको दिया है फॉर फाइलिंग ऑफ रिटर्न एंड नॉट फॉर नॉन डिपॉजिट ऑफ टैक्स तो इसका जरूर ध्यान रखें वरना आपके ऊपर इंटरेस्ट की लायबिलिटी आ जाएगी इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि अगर आपका नेट टैक्स पेबल 1 लाख रुपए तक का है तो आपके ऊपर सेक्शन 234A के इंटरेस्ट की लायबिलिटी नहीं आएगी यदि आप अपना नेट टैक्स पेबल इवन 30 सितंबर 2021 तक भी जमा कराते हैं देयरफॉर प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दिस इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इफ योर नेट टैक्स पेबल इज मोर देन रुपीस 1 लाख आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग एडवांस टैक्स और TDS etc. Then you should deposit your entire tax payable on or before 31st July 
2021 positively otherwise income tax department will charge interest under section 234a because this extension is for filing of return and not for non deposit of tax payable it means if your net tax liability is rupees 1 lakh or less and you deposit the same even on or before 30th september 2021 then you will not be liable for payment of interest under section 234a number 2 extension is in respect of due date of furnishing of report of audit under any provisions of the act for the financial year 2020 21 which is presently 30th september 2021 and is now extended to 31st of october 2021 yes it is extended up to 31st october 2021 number 3 is extension in respect of the due date of furnishing report from an accountant by persons entering into international transactions or specified domestic transactions under section 92e of the act for the financial year 2020 21 which is presently 31st october 2021 and is now extended to 30th november 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th november 2021 number 4 is the due date of furnishing of return of income for the assessment year 2021-22 which is presently 31st october 2021 under section 1391 of the income tax act and is now extended to 30th november 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th november 2021 yahan par ek important baat dhyan mein rakhiye ki agar aapka net tax payable 1 lakh rupaye se zyada hai after deducting advance tax or tds etc to aap apna net tax payable 31st october 2021 tak zarur deposit kara de nahi to income tax department aapse सेक्शन 234 ए का इंटरेस्ट चार्ज कर लेगा क्योंकि यहां पर सीबीडीटी ने एक्सटेंशन आपको दिया है फॉर फाइलिंग ऑफ रिटर्न एंड नॉट फॉर नॉन डिपॉजिट ऑफ टैक्स तो इसका जरूर ध्यान रखें वरना आपके ऊपर इंटरेस्ट की लाइबिलिटी आ जाएगी इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि अगर आपका नेट टैक्स पेबल एक लाख रुपए तक का है तो आपके ऊपर सेक्शन 234 ए के इंटरेस्ट की लाइबिलिटी नहीं आएगी यदि आप अपना नेट टैक्स पेबल इवन 30th नवंबर 2021 तक भी जमा कराते हैं देर फॉर प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दिस इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इफ योर नेट टैक्स पेबल इज मोर देन रुपीज वन आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग एडवांस टैक्स और टी डी एस एटसेट्रा देन You should deposit your entire net tax payable on or before 31st of October 2021 positively. Otherwise, income tax department will charge interest under Section 234A because this extension is for filing of return and not for non-deposit of tax payable. Then you should deposit your entire tax payable. on or before 31st october 2021 positively otherwise income tax department will charge interest under section 234a because this extension is for filing of return and not for non deposit of tax payable it means if your net tax liability is rupees 1 lakh or less and you deposit the same even on or before 30th November 2021 then you will not be liable for payment of interest under section 234A next is number 5 the due date of furnishing of return of income for the assessment year 2021-22 which is presently 30th November 
2021 under section 139.1 of the act and is now extended to 31st December 2021. Yes, it is extended up to 31st December 2021. यहाँ पर एक important बात आप ध्यान में रखिए कि अगर आपका net tax payable एक लाख रुपए से ज्यादा है after deducting advance tax और TDS etc. तो आप अपना नेट टैक्स पेबल 30 नवंबर 2021 तक जरूर डिपॉजिट करा दें नहीं तो इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट आपसे सेक्शन 234 ए का इंटरेस्ट चार्ज कर लेगा क्योंकि यहां पर सीबीडीटी ने एक्सटेंशन आपको दिया है फॉर फाइलिंग ऑफ रिटर्न एंड नॉट फॉर नॉन डिपॉजिट ऑफ टैक्स तो इसका जरूर ध्यान रखें वरना आपके ऊपर इंटरेस्ट की लाइबिलिटी आ जाएगी इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि अगर आपका नेट टैक्स पेबल एक लाख रुपए तक का है तो आपके ऊपर सेक्शन 234 ए के इंटरेस्ट की लाइबिलिटी नहीं आएगी यदि आप अपना नेट टैक्स पेबल इवन 31 दिसंबर 2021 तक भी जमा कराते हैं देर फॉर प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दिस इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट That if your net tax payable is more than rupees one lakh after deducting advance tax and TDS etc., then you should deposit your entire net tax payable on or before 30th November 2021 positively. Otherwise, income tax department will charge interest under section 234A because the extension is for filing of return. And not for non-deposit of tax payable. It means if your net tax liability is rupees one lakh or less, and you deposit the same even on or before 31st December 2021, then you will not be liable for payment of interest under Section 234A. Next one is number six, and that is the due date of furnishing of belated or revised return of income. For the assessment year 2021-22, which is presently 31st December 2021, under Section 139.4 and 139.5 of the Act, and is now extended to 31st January 2022. Yes, it is extended up to 31st January 2022. Next one is number seven. And that is the statement of financial transaction, that is SFT, for the financial year 2020-21, which is presently required to be furnished on or before 31st May 2021 under Rule 114E of the Income Tax Rules, and may be furnished now on or before 30th June 2021. Yes. It is extended up to 30th June 2021. Next one is number eight. That is a statement of deduction of tax for the last quarter. That is March 2021 of the financial year 2020-21, which is required to be furnished on or before 31st May 2021 under Rule 31A. And may now be furnished on or before 30th June 2021. Yes, it is extended up to 30th June 2021. Next one is number nine. That is certificate of tax deduction at source in form number 16. That is TDS certificate, which is presently required to be furnished to the employees. By 15 June 2021 under Rule 31, and which may now be furnished on or before 15 July 2021. Yes, it is extended up to 15 July 2021. Next one is number 10, that is TDS or TCS book adjustment statement in form number 24G. For the month of May 2021, which is required to be furnished on or before 15 June 2021 under Rule 
and under rule 37 ca which may now be furnished on or before 30th june 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th june 2021 next extension is number 11 that is a statement of deduction of tax from contributions paid by the trustees of an approved superannuation fund for financial year 2020-21 which is presently required to be sent on or before 31st may 2021 under rule 33 which may now be sent on or before 30th june 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th june 2021 and next one is number 12 that is a statement of income paid or credited by an investment fund to its unit holders in form number 64d for the previous year 2020 21 which is presently required to be furnished on or before 15 june 2021 under rule 12 cb which may now be furnished on or before 30th june 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th june 2021 and the next one is the statement of income paid or credited by an investment fund to its unit holders in form number 64c for the previous year 2020 21 which is presently required to be furnished on or before 30th june 2021 under rule 12 cb may now be furnished on or before 15 july 2021 yes it is extended up to 15 july 2021 and the last one is the statement of reportable account for the calendar year 2020 which is presently required to be furnished on or before 31st may 2021 under rule 114g may now be furnished on or before 30th june 2021 yes it is extended up to 30th june 2021 so now relax as far as income tax compliances are concerned i think that the present extensions of due dates coupled with the proposed new income tax portal to be launched from june 7th 2021 is planned with the objective of generating pre-filled income tax returns of the taxpayers with the help of auto populated details of dividends bank interest banking transactions bank account details securities trading details in shares mutual funds and any other securities and other host of information which will flow from sft forms that as specified financial transaction form to the income tax department as was declared by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman during her budget speech this year also I am of the view that there shall not be any further extension by CBDD in due dates going forward and therefore it is advisable for one and all to plan their affairs in such a fashion so as to complete various filings of return within these extended due dates only to ummeed karta hu आपको इस वीडियो में बताई गई जानकारी पसंद आई होगी अगर पसंद आई हो तो मुझे लाइक का सिग्नल जरूर दीजिए आपको लगता है कि यह इंफॉर्मेशन किसी और के काम आ सकती है जो मुझे लगता है बिल्कुल आ सकती है तो आप इस वीडियो को शेयर जरूर कीजिए क्योंकि आप इस वीडियो तक आ गए हैं बाकियों तक इस वीडियो को पहुंचाने की जिम्मेवारी आपकी और हमारी है तो वो हमें जरूर करनी चाहिए इसी तरह के वेरियस कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक्स को मैं सिंप्लीफाई करता हूं अपने YouTube चैनल सी ए बी एन फॉर वेंट्री पर 
तो अगर आपने अभी तक मेरे इस YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो मैं जरूर आपसे यह कहूंगा कि आप इसको कंसीडर कीजिए और मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए ताकि आने वाले सारे वीडियो के अपडेट्स आपके पास आ सके और हम और आप मिल सके एक और इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक के साथ किसी और दूसरे वीडियो में तब तक अपनी हेल्थ का और अपनी वेल्थ का अच्छे से ख्याल रखिए बाय